going on guys? Alex here. Face is a little bit red. I was on the ski slopes this morning, not, not to brag or anything, but uh, just trying to make sense of why my face looks this puffy. Um, welcome to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed. If you have an interest in raising your frequency through good diet, uh, good habits, and expanding your consciousness, your understanding of how the mind works, make sure you're subscribed. Do like this video. Well, like it once you've watched it. Um, hit the bell notification button, all that sort of stuff. Uh, today I wanted to talk about obsession. Why obsession? Well, I was recently in a coaching conversation with uh, a client of mine, and the idea of obsession came up through that. He was having lots of challenges in his life around anxiety and lots of stress, and that was triggering all kinds of pain in his body. And um, the conversation directed, what sort of got directed towards the idea of obsession. And obsession is something that we all have. And I think it, it tends to be seen in a bad light. When, when we say that someone is obsessive, it tends, to be, it tends to have negative connotations, as though there's something mentally wrong with them. There's, there's something about the transfiction around being obsessed that is kind of looked down upon in society. But what we unraveled, and what I've been seeing um, for, for many years, you know, just, just in understanding human behavior, and, and being intrigued by human behavior is that I think every single one of us, every human being on this planet has the potential to be obsessed and is obsessed about one or several things. It could be that you're obsessed with positive things and it could also be that you're obsessed with things that aren't helping you. You could be obsessed with drugs, you could be obsessed with gambling, you could be obsessed with video games. Um, you could be obsessed with success. You could be obsessed with writing. You could be obsessed with painting. You could be a Picasso and be absolutely obsessed with your craft and be prolific. In both cases, whether you're a bum on the street who's been thrown out of his house because he's got an addiction that is not helping him, or whether you are obsessed with things that are actually turning your life around and, and contributing to the world around you, you are obsessed in both cases. You are... Um, riding the wave of this energy that we are all endowed with, no matter how dead on the outside we might look, you might see people kind of strolling around, you think there's no way they're obsessed with anything, they've given up on life, but actually that we all, I think to the, to the dying moment, we all have an obsession of some sort. We might be obsessed with ourselves. Uh, most of us are. Most of us have a an obsession with ourselves, or at least the illusion, the idea of who we think we are in our minds. And guess what happens? And, and I'm very familiar with this because I spent a lot of years at school worried about what other people were thinking of me, obsessed about who I was and how I was coming across to people. And I had this story going in my head that I was a shy guy and I, I wasn't very good at communicating. That's the story I was telling myself. That was the obsession with myself that was actually clouding a lot of my ability to actually function in the world. And to a lot of people, particularly in, you know, in, in class and stuff, I might have seemed half dead half the time because I was so obsessed. I was self-conscious. And a lot of my energy was directed towards self-protection and not wanting to look stupid and, and not wanting to say the wrong thing. And so I would keep quiet for a lot of the time. And this is something that I was beating myself up about for many years. Looking back, uh, I wasn't happy with who I was. But that is another example of someone, even at a younger age, uh, riding the wave of energy that we all are endowed with and using and, and directing that energy to things that were not really helping me. I was self-conscious, I was thinking about myself too much. There were other things that I was focused on as well. I was directing energy towards art and doing well. It's pretty, pretty okay at school. But um, that you could say that there was, there was a, an obsession with self that wasn't helping me. In the same way that when we get anxious, we are directing our energy, directing our focus towards things that are not helping us. That is essentially what anxiety is. It is misdirected, unhelpful, obsessive energy. So when you get anxious, self-conscious, for example, your energy and focus is directed at how you're coming across. It's also directed at the anxiety itself. So a lot of us get anxiety about being anxious. 
And so it kind of upcycles into more and more panic. And rather than trying to do what most people do to overcome things like stress and anxiety and depression and frustration and anger, rather than trying to fix yourself, thinking that there's a problem with you, getting overly obsessed about, oh gosh, this is who I am, there's an issue with me, I need to go deep and fix myself, I need to go deep into my past and try and figure things out because there's obviously something wrong with me. Rather than doing that, the solution is in understanding where our attention lies. That is where the understanding of obsession comes in really useful because when we understand how we are obsessive beings, we are, well, obsessive is the interpretation that people have from the outside, but we, we are high energy beings and we have a lot of creative power within us that can be put to destructive use or it could be put to creative use. And if we are experiencing a lot of negative emotion in our lives, it's gonna have a lot to do with where we're putting our attention. Some of it, yes, might be triggered by genetic issues in the body phys physically. I tend to see that as part of a cycle that kind of gets wound up. You know, a physical ailment can lead to anxiety and lead to more thinking. So really the, the key is in, is in the attention and the thinking to slow things down and to take pressure off. Um, what I'm, what I'm, just to kind of keep things simple here, going back to the example with my client, there was an obsession, there was a direction of attention to wanting to fix himself, hating his anxiety, hating his pain, hating the suffering he was going through. And that took up most of his life, most of his day, was directed towards, I need to fix this, I need to sort myself out, there's a problem here. So a kind of obsessive energy directed at this thing, at this big deal thing. Um, you're, you're, make, you're kind of making it bigger by directing lots of attention. And his, his number one purpose in life essentially was trying to sort this problem out. I'm sure you come across many people, maybe even yourself, where you have an issue in your life. There's some, there's some uh, particularly psychological issues, you know, whether it's anxiety or stress or whatever, um, or something um, could be like nervous sweating or something like that, you, in wanting to get rid of it, direct so much obsessive attention towards it that you just make it worse and worse. So the solution is in understanding attention, and the solution really is in redirecting that attention. As much as you want to dig into it and figure it out and research on the internet and, and live in it and immerse yourself in the problem, that's not going to help at all, particularly for psychological uh, challenges. You want to redirect that obsession. We want to firstly accept that we're all, we all have an obsessive energy running through us, and it's obsessive in a positive way. We can be obsessive, and we are obsessive towards um, wherever we put our attention. So if you've got an obsessive energy in one place that, that is making us anxious, redirect that obsessive energy to something positive, positively obsessive. So if you suffer from a lot of anxiety and, and it's a lot of like buying into your own stories of this is how I've always been and this is what is wrong with me, that's an indication to me that you need to readdress, you need to redirect your attention to um, success, making art, creating things, creating relationships, doing things, making, taking action, climbing mountains, getting out there, filling a list of things that you could do with your life that are exciting, that are interesting again. That is your remedy. That is the best remedy to a situation like this. As much as you think you need to go and see a therapist and go and see a doctor and get medication, you may need medication for um, pushing things back into a reasonable zone that you can then deal with yourself. But the real solution in so much of this is think about where your attention is focused. Is it focused on me and blowing up a problem that isn't really a problem, it's more of an illusion, or am I neglecting something else that I could be obsessive about? What could you be obsessive about, again, if you're experiencing a lot of emotional distress in your life? You're obsessed about what's wrong. 
Can you get obsessed again about what's good, where the opportunities are? Get obsessed about your talents again. Get obsessed about your strengths. See what happens there. So by redirecting your attention, you're not doing anything about the problem. You're just, you're kind of ignoring it. And by moving in a different direction, that other problem is going to diminish. It's going to um, kind of diminish like a tumor would um, when exposed, you know, or, or uh, some kind of a disease when exposed to light, it kind of shrivels away just because you're focused somewhere else. You're focused on creating amazing things. So write a list of all the things you could do with your life that's interesting that you could get obsessed about and you will find that that energy is, is with you. You have it. You might just be directing it towards things that aren't helping you. Maybe you're putting a lot of energy and time into video games. Maybe you're doing putting a lot of obsessive energy into pornography. Maybe you're putting a lot of obsessive energy into worrying, overthinking. You don't need to worry about that. Get back onto what's good, what's positive. Again, a message for myself as well as you guys. Hope that was helpful, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you want more like this. Do like this video if it uh, flicked a switch in you. And uh, do, do share in the comments down below what you thought of this video. And if you've got other questions that I could talk on, happy to do it. Peace out, guys. Much love.